Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Quantum Flat Power Supply Kit so you can use it with the Quantum System for your next project. So let's get started. The Flat Power Supply Kit is a redesign of our original power supply DIY kit in response to customer requests for a more compact and sleek design. Like its predecessor, this kit converts 7 to 12 volts into 5 volts to power your builder base and connected components without being tethered to a wall outlet. You can also change the regulated output of the kit between 5 volts and 3.3 volts depending on what voltage your circuit requires. However, the builder base will normally require a 5 volt input unless you have it on low energy mode. This kit also includes multiple terminals that you can utilize to power circuits at the regulated voltage and or at the input voltage. By being able to fold the regulator back and having a finished height less than half of the previous 5 volt kit, it provides a smaller profile to fit into even smaller projects. Before we get started on assembling the power supply, I would first like to show you our documentation page for this project. This page will provide you with all the information regarding this product, such as description of the kit, projects we have made with the kit, and most importantly, the designators to tell you where to solder each component. I'll have the link for this page in the description below, or you can also scan the QR code found on the packaging. Now let's solder those components onto the PCB. I'll be following the designators found in the documentation. For example, where it says R1 on the PCB, I'll place the resistor designated as R1 in the documentation and solder it to the board. So let's get started. Now once you have finished soldering together your DIY kit, it will look something like this. As you can see here, we have the 2.1 millimeter barrel jack, and this is where you're going to input that raw voltage up to 12 volts. There's a bunch of different ways you can power this. The first way is you can use the provided cable here, attach that to the barrel jack, and the other end you can connect a 9 volt battery. Once you've provided a power source, all you have to do is flip the on switch here and then you'll see the green LED turn on. Now what's happening here is the 9 volt battery is providing power to the DIY kit and then that is getting regulated down to 5 volts here. However, you can also change the voltage that is getting outputted by flipping this switch here. You can see it will be labeled 3.3 volts or 5 volts. Just keep in mind that if you're trying to power a builder base like this, you will need to have it on 5 volts unless this is on low energy mode. There's also plenty of other ways you can power this DIY kit. Besides using the 9 volt battery and the provided cable, you can also use a AA battery pack with a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack. Or if you want to connect your circuit directly to a wall outlet, you can use a 12 volt 2 amp power supply where it also comes with a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack on the other end. Once you've chosen a power source for your circuit, let's go ahead and connect the DIY kit to power the builder base here. So first things first, make sure your DIY kit's turned off, and then let's go ahead and unplug our power source. Then now we are going to bring in two male-to-male -male jumper wires. I have one red and one black one for power and ground. So start with the ground. On the PCB, you'll see it's labeled V plus and ground, so you know which terminals you're trying to use. And just go ahead and connect those accordingly. Now once you have connected the jumper cables to your DIY kit, we're going to connect 
those two wires to a ground terminal and the five volt terminal if you're using it at five volts or to 3.3 volt terminal if you're using it at 3.3 volts. For this, we'll be using five volts. So we'll go ahead and connect it to a ground terminal. And then we'll connect the red jumper wire to the five volt terminal. So look just like this. Now let's go ahead and connect our power source back into the DIY kit. And then when I flip this PCB kit on, you'll start seeing the builder base LEDs indicating that it is powered on. And now you can use this with the quantum system for your next project. Another nice thing about this DIY kit is there's these two pin headers right next to the 2.1 mil barrel jack here. And this is where you can connect um, your circuit to the raw voltage. So if I have nine volt battery connected to it, these pen headers will have around nine volts as well. If I'm using 12 volts, it'll have 12 volts and so forth. This is pretty nice to use, especially if you want a portable circuit where you're powering, say motors, where you can input five volts to control the builder base. Also say the H bridge chip, but also you need a higher voltage to power the motors. You can then tie the VM voltage on the H bridge to those pin headers, and then you can power your motors at 12 volts or nine volts while also powering your H bridge and builder base at five volts, all from one place. So that's pretty convenient. So to demonstrate that, I'll be bringing out a voltage meter just to show you the different voltages on this DIY kit. Okay, as you can see here, we have our multimeter set to the DC voltage setting. So when I go ahead and connect the probes to the ground and five volt terminal, on the builder base, you'll see it is getting powered with five volts. If I do the same here, we'll also be getting a reading of five volts. Now, if I go ahead and connect it to the pin headers here, we should be seeing nine volts. So there we go, 8.81 .8 volts, pretty close. That's just because the battery is not fully charged. Now what we can do is flip the switch here and change the voltage to 3.3 volts. The builder base is still running because it's not doing anything right now. But if I then put the probes into that output terminal, you can see that is gonna give us a reading of 3.31 volts. Overall, this DIY kit is pretty great. I love these DIY kits a lot. I use the older version in our previous projects, such as the automated motorized shade, the mechanum car, and so forth. It's a wonderful kit. And now with this new one, it's even flatter as you can see here. Just for reference, I have the old power supply kit here. You can see there is the regulator here. What we pretty much did is gave it enough room so it can be folded back and not have heating issues as well. We did remove a couple pin headers from the original one, but we have the output terminal block here that you can connect to with either five volts or 3.3 volts. But then we still kept a pin header here so you can connect the output voltage to your circuit from there. Overall, I like this new kit a lot. I'm excited to see what projects I'll be ending up using with this. And I'm also excited to see what projects you end up using this for. So that's how you assemble and use the flat power supply DIY kit with the quantum system. Make sure you check out those links in the video description below for more information about this kit. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.